Portland Stage is kicking off its new season with a play that has real ties to Maine. It's called Conscience, and it's about a pivotal chapter in the life of Maine Senator Margaret Chase Smith. With us here to talk about the production are Lisa DeFranza, who's the director, Kate Udall, who plays Margaret Chase Smith, and Isabel Van Vliet, who plays Jean Kerr, a key character whom we'll talk about a little <laughs> bit more in just a moment. Thanks all for coming in. Thank you. So Thank you. let's set the story. Margaret Chase Smith was elected to the United States Senate from Maine in 1948. In 1950, she delivered what was her most famous speech in her career. What's the background in a nutshell, Lisa? Her declaration of conscience. So it's really, this play is about Margaret Chase Smith and the courage it takes to speak truth to power. Um, the speech, of course, was denouncing Joe McCarthy, and she was really breaking ranks of the Republican Party um, in order to step out. Smith's and she was the only woman senator at the time, and the, it, it was the first God. time she spoke on it the Senate floor. Really remarkable, because this came at a time not when McCarthy's downfall had begun, but when he was still rising to an even higher pinnacle of power. Her criticism coming from a fellow Republican was really striking. What is it about this role that attracted you, Kate? Well, it's terrific playing uh, a woman who's really negotiating. You know, she was the first uh, female senator, at one Senate, one woman, 95 men. So negotiating her passion and her intelligence, but also what it meant at the time to be a woman in that environment. Isabel, you play Jean Kerr, who at the time was yes. an employee of Senator Joe McCarthy, worked for Senator McCarthy, correct? Yes, she was his secretary and later his political aide and eventually becomes his wife. <laughs> Is she a sympathetic figure in this play? Because McCarthy, McCarthy was a demagogue. He was a guy who smeared people with his reputations. Uh, his downfall, when it finally came, was sh sharp and ugly. Mm -hmm. What is it like to play the woman who became his wife? Well, for me, it's been a very eye-opening experience getting to step into this character's shoes because she did have such love for her country and such conviction and she's highly intelligent and had a higher education and beyond that even though her methods may have been misguided and it's not something that I would have personally done she did have a love for her country and for that I carry some compassion for her. When you're do, telling stories that are involved in politics and government, you got to be careful because most people don't say, I want to go spend a night at the theater hearing about <laughs> politics and government. What was your approach to me really making this story come alive? Well, it's, it's entertaining. The play is entertaining. And partly because it's the story of four human beings. It's a very human story. It's about relationships, a rela close sort of romantic relationships, um, political enemy relationships, political political colleague relationships. So we're seeing all these relationships and how they intertwine. So while it's an evening that, that relates to politics, it's also an evening that's just really compelling from a human point of view. Plus, it's entertaining. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. When yeah. you play a real historical figure, whom we can all look at on YouTube and see what she was really like, you don't want to do an imitation of her, but you do want to capture her. How did you try to do that with Margaret Chase Smith? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. First of all, physically, it's not going to work at all. She was quite short. <laughs> I'm quite tall. And uh, I was cast in this, and I kept sort of going, I hope they know who they've cast. Uh -huh. um, but our version of the play, it really is not, uh, we're not imitating them. It is sort of like the spirit. And the spirit, I think, of Margaret Chase Smith uh, was her, her integrity. And yep. so, you know, the, the need to keep it honest. This is a story from 1950. Does it still have echoes that speak to us today, Isabel? Absolutely. It's um, a very prescient play and I think the audience will find it rather um, jarring actually how close it is um, in terms of what we're going through now in our election year and um, even back then. Yeah. But it's inspiring. You know, it's not yeah. a downer. It's inspiring because right. it really shows people living by their values. And I think that's, that's something, an example that we, value, that we benefit from. And Thank Margaret you. J. Smith has like, helped to break the glass ceiling mm -hmm. of the yeah. 1950s. And now we're looking at an election where a woman could become the president. And so it's a, it's a stepping stone along the way. All right, Conscience at Portland Stage runs through October 13th. Thank you all for coming in. We appreciate you being here. We have all the information you need about tickets, show times, everything else regarding Conscience. Just head to the 207 section of our new Center Main app or website. Stay with us. Back with more in a moment.